past because a committed relationship is, one of, is the past and the present and hopefully the future. And, and so you've got this card that is connecting, for me, my heart's dreams and desires and my past. And it's in, it's in the Ace of Hearts and that's a committed relationship. Without that, I'm not going to be going forward but for me, that's really important, and so, and, and and so you might and you might find a card like the Eight of Diamonds, which is talking about financial and what you're and and just write on it, uh, you know, and and so you can remember this. When I was, as I said, when I was learning the tarot deck, that's what I did. I wrote on the, I got a trash deck and wrote on the back of it so I could uh, read it when I was doing it. Well, it's the same thing with these cards. You get, you know, uh, because you're eventually you're going to get so you don't have to keep uh, keep looking at the sheet. You're not going to go, okay, now what was that? What was that? But right now, if you go to do a reading for somebody, you go home and and your wife says, well, how's the reading? Or uh, Wally says, how's the reading? Or whatever, and you can say, oh, here I'll do one for you, and. Uh, you, you go, oh, I, yeah, that's right, this card means this, and so, and it'll, the, seeing the card and what it is written on it really puts, it's like, I always want everybody to wear a badge, because when I look at the badge, I remember, oh, this is Christine, this is Kim, this is Paul, this is Stacy, this is Corky, this is an apple, whatever, you know, but I, you know, I, and we're, when we, I'm talking about uh, Shasta again, when we go on this trip, everybody's going to have a name badge. And they usually wear them for the first day and maybe somewhere for the second and then who knows where they go. But it gives you a face and a name, a face and a name. And that's really important because I have found one of the best ways you can honor anybody in your life is to remember their name. You know, most people don't particularly care for being called, hey you, every time you see them. You know, and I, I have one person whose name I never get correct. And uh, it's just so frustrating. And it, because he works here and he does music all every Sunday, and his name is Sean, and I call him Seth. It's gotten to the point that it's I, ha, I have to imagine it's a past life thing or something. Yeah. Yeah. And and he finally said, well, that's ridiculous because you know you always want to call me Seth because his mom that's the name she picked out for him. Oh my God! And but she named him Sean. So I mean I'm not I'm pulling this in from somewhere. Who knows? And I'm usually good with names, huh. uh, but. I was going to say Seth, poor <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, remember the best thing you can do in a relationship is remember somebody's name if you just met somebody new. Now a couple of lost Corky. Okay. How do you meet somebody new? You'll find as you get older that you need to meet new people because the other people are dying. Somebody said, Daddy, how come you have so many friends? I said, because they're younger than I am. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, I got and people have a hard time. How do you meet a friend? You get to know them. You, know, you just let them know you want to know you. You want to know them. And because it's so important as you get older to be able to have people you share things with. And I don't know if you, any of you have uh, elder parents or people you know who are so isolated and they're, and they're very, very sad and they're not feeling good because they don't have any people in their life. Mm -hmm. right. And when somebody says, I don't have any people in my life, I say, meet some. Right. Get out. Get out and do something. Oh, yeah, but they might not know. It, it, you know I, it might I, be I, just as lonely as you are. Yeah. And so, the, and that's what happens. I, ha I had a client, I said, go to the senior citizens. Uh, We've got a great senior citizens group, especially in Cupertino. They've got a wonderful one. Uh, and she said, oh, well, but I'm not that old. I said, you're 85. <laughs> what do you consider old? And she said, well, they all act old. Oh, my God. As she gets on her walker and walks out, you know. She wouldn't put it in her head that this is a way for her to meet new people. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think that there's something about the connotation of senior citizens that really bothers people, but I I find they do some great things and it's fun. So if you're looking for a place to meet people, look at different areas. And there's It's always so wonderful to have new people around. Shasta, you'll be able to meet new people. I'm gonna meet new people. I've got people coming I don't know. I'm so excited about that. But that's also an attitude and a feeling of 
your life of what you want. Mm -hmm. So if you feel you need other people around you or it comforts you or brings some happiness to you, then you just kind oh, of no, put I that feel out. I need to know them to bring happiness to them. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> now, no, that, yeah, it, it, and some people don't need people. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know they, a lot of people that don't need they people. Know people. They're really into solitude. They're really into being by themselves, and that's where they get their energy. They find more people. peace and happiness and with happiness. themselves in their environment versus other people. Right. And, and then I know people that have to have other people around them, yeah, or they're yeah, sad. Yeah. And they're, uh, and that, that honoring that, that there's people who uh, don't need people, that, that, and that's true, Paul. But what happens is if, if you don't have people in your life and you want people or you, that's the way you want to be happy, then it's time to make some steps to do that. But if you're very, very content to be like a uh, monastic life where people just you know, can sit in a cave all by themselves for years and they're as happy as can be, that's, that's great. Yeah. You know, I'd make friends with the field mice or something. Gonna, <laughs> yeah. And if you just put it out there, it'll come to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or it'll, you'll be presented to it, and then you have to take that opportunity. Right, right. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's easy to meet people. You just have to be open to meet people, and they'll be around you. Right, right. And, and uh, to uh, be able to listen to what they have to say. In the same way, the other direction. If you don't want to be around anybody, or you just put that energy out, and people yep. avoid you. People avoid yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's what you want to do. Uh, uh, Miss Money Bags. Uh, uh huh. I just remembered you had ten dollars in your account. Not anymore. No. Uh, I'm being wrong. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Are you ready? No. So no. do these cards mm, have a meaning of their own, or is this just the They're building on the same story. But is this just all of these, or just love and work? No, you're building on the same story. And these are, this is a whole circle that has to do with love and work. But it's, what I'm talking about here is simultaneous time. As you're going to see, your heart and desires are, the, are coming in from a past life. Okay, what you feel like you really want, and that's a heart's desire, and you're, you're excited about it, where did you get that excitement from it? So you have the six of hearts is hearts and desires, and uh, for me, it's uh, the top one, and then the first card on the right is the past. So you're so bringing this in... this card is the hearts and desires? No. No. The hearts and desires is the top the over spade. your head. The Oh, I, oh, yeah, I, I have a hard time seeing what that is. But yeah. So you, 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 the signifier is you. The card above you is hearts and dreams and desires. That's the one that says be careful. Yeah. And so uh, be careful because this is this is a past life thing. It's coming in, and so you, you're going to bridge it to the past. That's why we're saying it's a past life. This was something. And the first one is the, the first circle is the, the present and then you're adding to it. And by adding to the present, you're also, oh, this is, sounds complicated, but by adding to the present, it's also because you're bringing in the past. Who you are is not just present. You're bringing in the past, and that's why we're bridging the hopes, dreams, and desires to the past. And that's when we talk about seeing past lives. So, um, and the, this, this love and uh, work uh, those are two of the most important things that people look for when they when they come to see you. So what you can say is, you know, uh, uh, you, you've had a past life connection where you worked so hard that you never wanted to have to work again. In this lifetime, you just want to kind of take it easy. And we're seeing that it's not working for you, or we see that this is time for you to get a job. I, I do this with a lot of millennials who are going through a rough time. I can see that in a past life, they worked their tail off and it didn't benefit them at all. So at this time, they don't want to do that anymore. But, so this is you, you're looking at the cards, you're getting a better picture of the wholeness of who this person is and what it is that they want and where they're moving forward to. And then you have a bridge between the past to the present, and that's that 
in, the, in your book here, that would be the Ace of Spades. That's your bridge between the, the past and the present. And then you have uh, the next card is uh, connecting the, if you can see this, it's pr the present to the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the future back to what was going on for you. Could you get me an aspirin? Uh, well, yeah, all that. Hi. So these are all bridges. These are all a connection here that you have. So we have the first one. Can you say it one more time? It's a bridge between the desires and then the hopes and dreams and desires in the past. Okay. Then the next one is a bridge between the past and the present. The next one is a bridge between the present and the future. And the next one is a bridge between the future and your heart's dreams and desires. Probably none of this you'll use in doing a reading for somebody else. This is just more to bring back and bring up for you that whole idea of simultaneous time. That everything in your world is happening all at the same time. Hard concept. But when you see it, you go, oh yeah, that's what's happening. I'm, I am a result, my past is a result from a past life. My present is a result of my past and being linked, and my present is a link to the future. Do you understand that? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> what? Say that again. Okay. You're, your hopes, dreams, and desires in the past are coming through into the into your past life, and that's why we've got that over here. That's the nine of hearts on your diagram five. The next is the past, and and it um, has a bridge to the present, and that's the ace of spades on this. And then the next one is the present to the future. That's the eight of hearts, and the next is the future back to the hopes, dreams, and desires. In other words, your hopes, dreams, and desires are in your present and all, yeah, thank you, are in your present and also in your past. What makes you who you are in this lifetime are your hopes, dreams, and desires. And that's where quite often as somebody comes in and they're saying to you, I don't know what I want to do. I have no idea what I want to do. What did you want to do when you were 10? And they'll say, well, I want to be a fireman. What happened to that? Where did that desire go? Oh, I decided I couldn't handle it. How come? And they'll say, well, it was too scary. Yeah, and what was scary? Going into the fire. What happened? Let's look into the past life. We, our fears sometimes manifest uh, based on desires that we have. And it, it's like, I, you know, you always want to do a certain thing, and that's because it came in from your past. Okay? You always wanted to do something, and it came in from your past. Why did it come in from your past? That's a desire you had. We, we hardly change our personalities one lifetime to another. We change what we're doing but we have a basic energy. And that basic energy is what's writing this reading. Okay. So when you look at this, and so now just look at each, each card and say, how does, this, uh, uh, how does this set up for me in where I'm going and moving forward? Mine is so clear. Isn't that great? Yes. Right. The bridge between the hopes and dreams and the past is four diamonds, considering new financial interests, small venture. I, the question was about uh, yeah. doing readings. Uh, yeah. And then from the past to the present is a nine of diamonds, which is health card. I don't know how that one figures into it. Well, but you, yes, you do, because there's times when you go, I don't know if this feels that healthy. If you don't think about physical health, and you can think about you know, emotional health or any other kind of health, it works. And then from present to future is a ten of clubs, mm -hmm. which is travel, short trips, world travel, so maybe I'll make enough money to do travel. Do, do, do traveling, yeah. Well, tell them what you used to do with the readings. 
when I was doing home readings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would suggest everybody, if you want to start doing this as a business, do parties. And you call a friend of yours and you say, I'm, I'm starting out this business and I really want to get, a, if you get, if you get uh, six people, I'll do your, for your five people, not, I, I usually do six people, uh, five people uh, and, and together at your house, I'll do yours free. And they'll say, how much is it? And you could say either, it's free because I'm just learning, it's $20 a piece or it's whatever for a half an hour reading. And so you go in and you do a half an hour a piece for six people and by the end of that evening, that's when you know, hey, I'm good at this, okay? It, it, it sets you Starting up. Starting out, sound, half an hour per person sounds like a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like when nice. I have that much coming through to tell them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, it, it, it works. Okay. Would, you, would you have to open yourself up to the possibility of, you know, like with um, thinking of, of, of um, that one that was, had to do with health, that it's not just physical health. So you have to start thinking larger and kind of thinking outside the box. And that's one of the things that Dottie is so wonderful about, is that you'll give her a situation and then she'll say, well, have you thought about this? And just, oh, no, I, I didn't even put that in the realm of possibility that, that if you're talking about travel that I could have to do, you, know, you could stay at home and do things having to do with travel. Or, you know, there's whatever you think is blocking you, there's, there's a way around it, and that's, it's, it's coming up with that idea. But you just open yourself up to it. You know, it may sound ridiculous to you, but when you say it, the other person goes, wow, that's a great idea, I, I could do that. Maybe you can't do that, but they could do that. And, and uh, so that's how I got my client base, is I was seeing five people at a time. Great, and you have to want to go. To, I, I stopped wanting to drive at night. I had a little bit of night vision problems, and I didn't want to drive at night, so I do it at people on Saturday. And then I so I found out I like that so well. I just go to people's homes, and people say, "Oh, well, can we have wine and cheese?" And I, you can anything you want, just as long as Daddy doesn't drink. Everybody else is fine, you know. But I've done uh, Samsung. I did a huge. Uh, Reading, I take groups and at fair, Yeah, at, over at Fair, uh, what is the big hotel? Fairmont. Fair, Fairmont. Fairmont. Mm -hmm. That was huge. Yeah. And they set up a reading area, and I brought people I know who do cards and who do palms and who do a numerology and all that. But what you want to do is you want to make a client base of people who know you. And that's a really good way to start out. And uh, I used to do uh, all sorts of different things I sold while I was raising little kids. And uh, it, it, it's great. It's a good way to build a practice. And so just think about that, okay? And, and just say your, to yourself, okay, I can do this. Yeah, because I think that's my biggest problem is telling myself, you're not psychic. <laughs> you can't do this. <laughs> well, don't say I'm psychic. You can say I'm, I'm a conduit, I'm a channel. And because the word psychic has a lot of bad connotations quite often. Mm -hmm. So you just say, I'm a channel. I can channel this. And start working with that. Then it's amazing how well and how fast it works. Where all of a sudden you're hearing things or seeing things or knowing things about people that you never did before. Okay. Okay. So now you have now you have your story is being enlarged. And so what you do with this, and this is what happens with the first circle is the one that is your basic, uh, and that's your home. And then the second circle has to do with love and, and work. And that's building on that same basic thing. And, and that's what the next one does too. Uh, the, the third circle is spiritual and belief. Well, imagine how many con connections you get when you go to spiritual and belief. Because then when you put the cards down, you start, you, you would be covering up. Okay, so now you're, you're covering up the, the bridge that comes in from Hope, Dreams, and Desires, the past, and uh, the card that has to do with going into the present. And so, good morning. <laughs> do you all know John Sanch? We're not gonna ignore you, we're gonna introduce you. He is our Aikido instructor. He does uh, Regenesis. wonderful Regenesis healing, and he's also an LMFCC. 
That is John. Welcome. <laughs> nice seeing you. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Okay. And see you all again. Okay. Thanks, John. Enjoy your I, thank I, you. will, I will embarrass you no matter where you are. <laughs> well, thank you, Dottie. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, and then the, uh, the, uh, the fourth is, um, you hardly ever reach that because what the fourth does, fourth circle, you just lay the card straight across everything else. And so then you have all your, your four cards down there, and they just almost cover up every other thing. And that's the last circle. And that's your future and long-term goals. And so when you get there, I, I think maybe in a reading I've done that once, and I think it was when I was teaching it, not when I was actually doing it. Uh, because I want you to know that these cards are going to be able to tell you so much. But you'll find as you get further along, you get more blocks because of their sevens are still there and you're getting, you're getting more blocks, okay? So uh, the main thing that I want you to realize is that you are the channel. You're the one that's getting some information. The, the, the Pythagoras dealt with numbers and uh, pictures and things like that to bring about a way of receiving. So I want you to start looking at that. And so right now what I'm gonna do is let you tell this story of this that is happening here before we move on anywhere else. So, um, looking at your story, what does your story say, Corky? Oh, I'm sorry, you're eating it just, uh, I, I called on you, I'm sorry. And Stacy? <laughs> um, kind of interesting. So, uh, my dreams, hopes, and wishes to the, to the past, it's a five, Five of clubs. Mm -hmm. So here we go with um, change. Yeah. And so you're, you're, what that means is even though this is a, a, a dreams and things from the past, you are changing your belief system. Yeah. You're changing the way you look at life. Things that when you came in here that you had, you're now, you're now looking at and you're changing. You're changing yeah. ideas as you grow. And isn't that true of just about anybody that you, you, you change? And how, how, you, how you looked at something before is really going to be changing for you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and so that's, that's what that has to do with. Yeah, interestingly, from the past to the present, it's a two of spades. <laughs> which is small loss or fact. Yeah, that, small, yeah that, that, that two of spades is that you're becoming a little bit more cautious. That's, that you're more careful with what's going on in your life. And then the eight, and then from the present to the future, it's the eight of spirits, which is changes in all areas of life. Mm -hmm. looking and looking good. good. Yeah, meaning you're, you're changing, changing your attitude, you're changing, uh, you're changing your job and what you re really, you know, before. You're just changing everything. And it's it's looking good. So in other words, it's it's this story of you what, what you started out with. It's now saying, yeah, you're you're moving. You're going upward. Feels good. And then what's the last one? And then I didn't have it. Perfect. Last one. Perfect. You don't need it. Yes. So I'm ready now. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> Before she takes another bite. Announcement. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready. done? Yeah. I'm yeah. ready. Okay. I'm ready when you are. Okay, so I have the, the two of diamonds, which is look, looking for legal advice. I'm doing that. Uh, six of diamond is will receive and give money to a family member. Um, sure. <laughs> Corky's a orphan and doesn't have any family, so that's, uh, I, but I've got plenty of family. <laughs> yeah, so that'd be cool, you know. Okay, uh, nine of diamonds is a uh, health card. Well, yeah, my, my birthday's coming up, so that might yeah. be it, too. Uh -huh. um, is a health card, good health, is on the horizon. So okay. I guess I'm going to take care of whatever it was. Whatever it was, you've got to be taking care of it, yeah. And um, the four of clubs is uh, interested in meditation and psychic. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> How unusual. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. So there we go. Yeah, yeah. So Kind of good news. Yeah, good news and things are moving. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're not just st stuck. Yeah, well, that's nice. Always nice to know. <laughs> okay, and Paul. Okay, so I go from a first layer, future, which is addiction, into the queen of spades, which is the 
um, feminine power, mm -hmm. which has to do with a lot of different things. She's interesting, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Sexual power, energy, ready to take risk. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I go into the two of spades, which is look for, no, yeah, the two of spades, which is keep my wallet near you, uh -huh. which my present and my five of diamonds, which was my first layer, it says, talks about money again and be careful, someone's going to try to take it. Right, right. So they kind of go hand in hand. Right. <clears throat> and then I go to the future of nine and diamonds, which is good health. And that was part of my initial question is about my health. And then in the future, I go to the two of diamonds, which is looking for legal advice because you can't handle it alone. Mm -hmm. So that could mean a lot of different things. A lot of things. different things, yeah. 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 And so, and that's Money coming and up, and, that's, and it's all, the basis is there. And these are things that are building on it. Yeah. Okay. And so you're looking for good health, and it's saying, yes, you're going to have good health. In other words, but you've got to find it. I mean, so you might be going to any kind of different doctors or anything Yeah, else. I'm doing that now. So, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. So that's what it's saying. Non-traditional with traditional. So. Yeah, yeah. And so it sounds like you're right on the, on the right path. You do a lot better doing your reading for yourself than you were for somebody else. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Christina, how are you doing? So the bridge from the hopes and desires in the past, I have the Queen of Hearts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's, is, she's, she's neat. Yeah, it's like a mother healing energy, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, like a dedicated partner. Mm -hmm. And the, but uh, the tending to mother, uh, you tend to mother a bit, uh, okay? And, and that you're also going to be working with somebody else who does too. So is your mother around? My mom lives in on the East Coast. Yeah. Do you ever do you ever talk to her? Yeah. Yeah. Because for some reason she's going to be coming up in uh, uh, is she in the, in the bridge that comes. Where is she? Um, this is the the hopes and desires in the past. Uh huh. And so this usually when she uh, when a, a parent comes up in that position and that's usually this ace uh, the Queen of Hearts is usually a parent. Um, that means that you and she have known each other before in previous incarnation. And so whether there's some bad or good, doesn't make any difference. You, you as I always told my kids, you chose me. <laughs> it takes so responsibility. You chose yeah. <laughs> so whatever that was, whatever you needed to work on, is either could be your mothering skills, it could be whatever. There is some reason that you've known her before in a past life and chose her again. Or something that you need to, uh, the two of you need to work on, but you need to work on for yourself. Okay? And what next? The bridge from the past to the present is the um, Ace of Diamonds. Aha! Uh -huh. Which is like a good, good friendships, new business activities. Right. Mm -hmm. and I really get the new new friendships. I get there's there's new. Uh, it's not just. <coughs> a, a new uh, best girlfriend or a new best, it's just you know, friendships. So you're going to be meeting new people. And, and uh, uh, my guide says is you're going to be re uh, meeting people who are very supportive of you. Because look at where it comes in your, in your reading. It, it comes at that point where it's uh, from the past to the present. I mean, this is, this is a good time. These are some of your old friends that you knew before you're going to be hearing from meeting new friends and, and so this is really building on what was underneath it and it's coming up and then i have the the nine of diamonds which is good health mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Good. that's the present to the future right so whatever was going on where your health wasn't quite as good as it could be it's getting better so it's like hallelujah yeah and then the i have another jack all the all the mm -hmm. new, new new beginnings and all of that and that the, that's so the what jack is the, what the bridge from the future future to the hopes, to hopes and dreams and desires. desires. Yep, yep. So jack of space. Good, good. Yeah. Jacks are jacks are crazy. Jacks are 
decks are just the most wonderful card. I love it. They're whole new beginnings, whole new things that you're going to be doing. Okay, and, and we did yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, uh, you, you got it all? You kind of figured out how these things work? Okay. Yes, Steve. So, what we were just talking about regarding jacks, I mean, and the, sim the, the symbols of the cards, hearts, clubs. Don't worry about it. It's just it, a jack is a jack is a jack. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because it's so it's so it's so wonderful because it's all of these new beginnings, new things are happening, new children, new ideas, new people. You know, it's uh, if it's a jack of hearts, um, it's somebody you could love. It's a jack of diamonds. It's somebody you know you could be good friends with. It's a jack of clubs. It could be some change. But the whole idea of having a jack in your um, reading is is fantastic. Okay. It really means a lot of positive stuff. Okay, now I'm going to give you something to do. It's going to kind of scare you. Pick up all the cards, all of them this time. Not the this just time. All of them this time. Okay. Oh, I like that. Or like I, still? I, I, I don't ever play the twos and threes. I love that. I'm taking a picture of it. That is so that's great. That's you learn, right? Yeah, oh, that's okay. the way you learn. Okay, pick all your cards. Now pick a partner to do your reading on. So should we have them shuffle the cards? Yeah. Do you have Okay, you and you and Kim are gonna work together? Okay. Okay, Kim. So uh, do you wanna read her first? Or do you okay, want her yeah. to read you yeah. first? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you shuffle your cards? Yeah, you can shuffle your cards. Does it work together? Yeah. Stacy and Paul will work together. Yeah.